From an animal that sweats blood to keep cool, to an animal that adapted to be virtually immortal, here are 10 animals with the most unexpected adaptations. Number 10. The Hippopotamus The hippo already is one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. It doesn't have to worry about predators at all. Sure, the occasional lion, croc, or hyena might prey on the babies, but once these massive creatures are full grown, they're pretty much at the top of the food chain. But even full-grown hippos have a couple of formidable enemies. But those are the sun and disease-causing bacteria. I mean, sure, they do roll around in the mud a lot, and that mud armor acts like a sunscreen. But that doesn't amount to much, especially if you spend the majority of your day wading through the river. That's why hippos have evolved to secrete their own natural sunscreen, which oozes out of their pores in a shocking bright red color, earning it the name of blood sweat. However, this gory secretion doesn't contain blood or even sweat for that matter. Instead, it's made up of a number of highly acidic compounds that absorb ultraviolet light, prevent sunburn, and inhibit the growth of bacteria. This liquid actually comes out clear before turning red and then fading to brown as it becomes exposed to the air. Number 9. The Anglerfish By now, most of you should be a little familiar with the anglerfish and its strange dangling light orb. After all, we featured that creepy looking deep sea fish many times on the channel before. But we feature it yet again to discuss a weird adaptation that truly makes this fish unique, even among the many weirdos that share its home in the deep sea. What we're talking about today is sexual dimorphism. While plenty of animals display sexual dimorphism to some extent, none are quite as drastic as the differences between the male and female anglerfish. In fact, when scientists first discovered the male anglerfish, they thought he was some kind of parasite that fed off of the female. And in a way, they were absolutely right. The male anglerfish is much, much smaller than the female, and he does not have a glowing lure on his head. Many are even incapable of feeding, which means he has to find a female ASAP if he wants to survive. Males quickly find females, bite down on their sides, and release an enzyme that dissolves the skin of his mouth and a little part of her body so the two can fuse together. In time, the male atrophies until all that's left of him is a pair of gonads, which release sperm whenever the female's hormones announce that eggs are being released. In some species of anglerfish, males who can't find a mate grow in size and actually become females. Kind of like Jurassic Park, but a little more gross. Number 8. Fishhook Ants The fishhook ant lives in colonies of millions inside hollowed out logs on the forest floor and can only be found deep in the Verache National Park of Cambodia. What's so unusual about them is the double fishhook protrusions that grow from their backs. These hooks evolved to be defensive mechanisms and are sharp enough to serve as a powerful predator deterrent. When they were first found in 2007, one researcher found out firsthand that the thorns were not only sharp enough to penetrate skin, but they also hooked into a wound, latching the ant to whatever attacks it. Here's another thing very unusual about these ants. When their colony is threatened, they will swarm out thousands at a time and they'll hook into each other to create a massive cluster, which makes it nearly impossible for any predator to target an individual ant, and also allow that predator to get a big face full of razor. Number 7. The Pit Viper How cool would it be to be able to see in the dark? Well, we can, just as long as you have the right equipment. Night vision goggles and night vision cameras use sensors that are sensitive to infrared waves, part of the light spectrum that our naked eyes can't detect and are radiated by warm objects. However, the pit viper don't need such equipment to see in the dark. Pit vipers are called such because of the pair of heat-sensing organs located in pits between their eyes and nostrils. These snakes use it to hunt, and to a pit viper moving in the dark, the heat of a tiny mouse is a bright beacon signaling its next meal. These organs are so sensitive that it can detect the tiniest amount of heat from about a meter away. Number 6. The Snapping Shrimp This tiny, 5 centimeter long shrimp has evolved one of its pincers into a weapon that can almost be likened to a gun. A gun that fires bubbles as ammunition. So, kind of like something from Spongebob, actually. Okay, yeah, I, I know what you're thinking, though. How can bubbles be lethal? Well, if it comes from the end of one of the Snapping Shrimp's formidable pincers, they're pretty deadly in themselves. The shrimp's larger pincer, called the snapper, can close with a tremendous force, so much so that it displaces water at a velocity of 105 feet per second. At this velocity, water pressure drops below the vapor pressure of water. Because of this, tiny bubbles already present in the water rapidly swells and collapses when the pressure climbs. This is called a cativation bubble, and it creates a noise so loud it rivals the sound made of a sperm whale, which is often considered the loudest creature in the sea, whose clicks are louder than a roaring jet engine. More importantly, the collapse of the bubble generates for a split second temperatures of 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly as hot as the surface of the sun and also a flash of light. 
The resulting shockwave bombards the shrimp's prey, which, if it's lucky, will die instantly because it's then dragged into the snapping shrimp's burrow and consumed. Number 5. The Wolverine Frog The hairy frog is one such animal that uses its bones as weapons. When threatened, the hairy frog's main defense is to crack its own finger bones and then pierce them through the skin of their toe pads. It then uses them as claws, thus giving it the nickname of the Wolverine Frog. Also on another note, Ugh, that sounds horrifying. Number 4. The Mimic Octopus This creature has evolved a camouflage so effective that it can literally turn into any animal that it wants to. Well, at least animals it's familiar with. The Mimic Octopus can copy the looks and behaviors of other types of animals in the water. They do this in order to trick predators into leaving them alone. They aren't very large octopi, with an overall length of only about 2 feet when they're fully grown. They have a normal coloring that spans many spans of brown and white. They also have stripes and spots on them that help blend into their surroundings. Like other types of octopus, they can change the colors of their bodies to blend in when they need to. The change in their environment are what will trigger those changes. The mimic octopus is fascinating to watch due to the fact that they do act like many other animals. For example, they may move along in the water, mimicking the movements of an eel. However, it's also been observed mimicking plenty of other animals, including stingrays, jellyfish, and starfish. Not only do they copy the movements, but they also turn their bodies to those colors so that they'll fit the description as well. Number 3. The Wood Frog Amphibians don't normally do well in the cold, but there's always an exception to the rule. The Wood Frog, for instance, has evolved an amazing way to deal with freezing temperatures. The wood frog embraces cold weather and ensures survival by freezing up to 70% of its body, including the brain and the lens of the eye. Its heart completely stops, as do its muscles and breathing movements. When spring rolls around, the frog's hard body simply thaws out and reverts back to normal. This cycle is then repeated over and over again each winter. The real question here is, how do they do it? Well, according to scientists, wood frogs possess nucleating proteins, which sucks the majority of the water out of the frog's cells. At the same time, the frog's liver creates glucose, which fills its cells and operates as a thick sugary syrup to keep them from freezing solid. Water returns back into the frog's cells once their bodies warm up again. The frog's amazing ability is now being thoroughly studied by scientists, and they're trying to replicate the same phenomenon in humans. If successful, it could lead to numerous applications, primarily sending humans to the far reaches of the galaxy and sleeping in some form of suspended animation. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is a fish called the Snakehead. No, this fish didn't somehow manage to evolve a head that resembles a snake, but it's called such because of an amazing adaptation. Learn more about this amazing animal next with number 2. The Snakehead This aggressive fish is native to China, southern Siberia, and North Korea, where it's fished and occasionally raised for food. From there, it's been introduced around the world, including most recently the US, where it's become quite the problematic invasive species. The fast-growing creatures are carnivorous, eating zooplankton when they're young, but quickly progressing to insects, small amphibians, and other fish. It's all well and good to get to know about this amazing fish, but why it's included in today's video, you may ask? Well, you see, the snakehead has solved the problem fish have had for millions of years, and that's to live on land. And the snakehead has solved this problem in the simplest way possible. It learned to breathe air. Truly, this fish is built different. There's a special chamber adjacent to its gills called a subbranchial organ. This allows the animal to absorb oxygen directly from air by gulping it in through its mouth. This adaptation enables snakeheads to thrive in low oxygen, stagnant bodies of water in a variety of settings from swamps to muddy rivers to canals to ponds. In fact, it can actually survive outside of water for up to four days. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Teratopsis Jellyfish For thousands of years, many people have searched for the key to immortality. The search may finally be over, though, as one jellyfish was discovered that just might have the secret we've all longed for. Discovered by Christian Sulmer, the Teratopsis Jellyfish is an animal that has a very curious life cycle, making it virtually immortal. At any point in its life, it can reverse its aging and revert back into a polyp, the earliest stage of its life cycle. Scientists still don't know how the creature does this, or why it does this, and whether it does it on purpose, but one thing is clear. 
The old adage that states, one is born, then dies, does not apply to all creatures on the Earth, especially to this little jelly-like phoenix. If you were given a choice, what unique adaptation would you like to have? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.